hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm gonna show you how i got ready for my birthday and what outfit i wore and what kind of makeup i did and a small little vlog as well in the end so if you want to know how i got ready for my birthday then please do continue watching So I cleansed my face using the Derma Vibe Hydra Cleanser off screen and I moisturized my face using the Nutriderm uh, Moisturizing Lotion with Vitamin E in it. So I'm just going to take a generous amount of the moisturizer and just use my fingertips to apply and blend the moisturizer well into my skin and moisturizing your face is super super important before you begin with your makeup and this one is really light on the skin and my oily skin really likes it. So once the moisturizer has been completely absorbed into my skin, I'm gonna take my Lakme 3D Brow Definer in the shade Espresso and I'm just gonna use that to fill in my brows. And I have been really enjoying this eyebrow product lately to fill in my brows. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm just using the pencil side to fill in any gaps on my eyebrows and then I'm gonna use the spoolie end to just comb through my brows and make them look more tamed out. For priming my face, I'm gonna take the Milani Prime Correct um, Correcting Primer in like an orange variant which has a little bit of color correcting properties to it. So I'm just applying that to the main areas of my face again using my fingertips and I really like this primer as well because it really fills in my pores and keeps my skin mattified for really long. So I really really like it on my oily skin. Then I'm gonna take my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn which is like a very good uh, match concealer on my complexion. So I'm just gonna use that to sort of color correct my face because the foundation um, that I'm going to use in the next step has very light coverage. So I'm using this to conceal and um, hide any imperfections on my face such as the dark circles. I'm also using the concealer on top of my um, eyelids to cover the discoloration there and also on my hair pigmentation issues around my mouth and also on top of my acne scars. Then I'm gonna take my pack 219 concealer blending brush to blend out the concealer in place. And this is a new concealer brush um, that I got to try out recently and I've been really liking it to blend out the concealer. So I'm just dabbing on top of the concealer to blend them very well onto my skin. For foundation, I'm taking the new K-Beauty Hydrating Liquid Foundation in the shade 180Y. So I've taken that on a damp beauty blender and just applying that on top of my face. And since I have the concealer on, I really don't have to use a ton of foundation as well. And this one is uh, more on the light to medium coverage. So I use very little of the foundation that day. And this foundation has a very, very dewy finish. So it's very important for me to set it well with a loose setting powder. But before that, I'm gonna take my MAC um, Studio Fix Liquid Concealer in the shade NC42. I'm gonna use that to highlight underneath my eyes. So I'm just applying a little bit on the under eyes to just brighten up my under eyes. Again, I'm going to use the same uh, pack 219 concealer blending brush to blend out the um, concealer. Now I'm going to take the L'Oreal Infallible Setting Spray and spray my face before setting uh, the base makeup with a powder because um, 
summer has arrived and it's very important for me to make my makeup last really long so i like to spray my face first using a setting spray and then go over on top with a powder and this way my base makeup stays on really long so to set my face i'm using the k beauty loose setting powder in the shade olive and i'm using a generous amount of the powder on the under eyes because i don't want my concealer to crease then i'm taking this mac flamboyant uh, eyeshadow palette and i'm going to take that really pretty matte warm brown um eyeshadow on the palette to apply as a transition on the crease then i'm going to take this k beauty stick eyeshadow in the shade enigma which is like a muted uh brown eyeshadow stick so i'm just applying that closer to my upper lash line in a thick manner and immediately i'm just going to use my finger to blend and smudge the eyeshadow on top of the eyelids then i'm going to take the shade called uh sketch i guess it's a very beautiful uh plummy matte eyeshadow from the same mac palette and i'm just applying that all over my eyelids and this eyeshadow matches with the outfit i'm wearing as well so um it kind of just ties the look together then i'm going to take the shade called embark which is a very beautiful deep matte brown shade again i'm using the embark shade to blend out the edges of the previous plummy matte eyeshadow that i applied on top of the eyelid just to create a smooth transition Then I'm going to take this uh Revlon Cold pencil that I found recently and it's very very good jet black pigmented and long lasting cold pencil so I'm just applying a thick layer of this kajal on my um lower waterline and my lower lash line thickly and immediately I'm going to take a pencil brush to just smudge it off and I was going for a nice grungy look for uh, my birthday so yeah I'm just keeping the lower lash line super smudged out and smoky and then I took a deeper shade of um matte brown again from the same MAC palette to um smudge the lower lash line further and once that was done I'm just going to brush off the excess powder away using a fluffy powder brush and also setting the rest of my face using the same loose powder Now for mascara I'm taking the um, MAC 3D um voluminous lash something I'll put the details in the description box I really don't remember the name of it so before applying the mascara I'm just um curling my lashes using the color bar um eyelash curler and then I went ahead with the mascara to coat my top and bottom eyelashes and I really really like this mascara as well it adds a lot of volume to my lashes without being clumpy and it makes my lashes look really really separated so i really enjoy this mascara and it's very very light to it on the uh, eyelashes as well then to bronze up my face i'm taking the revolution blotting powder in the shade dark so i'm just applying that to add some definition to my face so that is on the hollows of the cheeks on the perimeters of my forehead and jawline and also i added the same powder on the sides of my nose to add a bit of uh dimension to my nose as well and underneath my lower lip to make my lips look more pouty For blusher I'm going to use my MAC Gingerly blusher which is a matte finish and it's a nice earthy toned blusher and it went very well with the makeup look that I created so I'm just adding that to the apples of my cheeks to add a nice flush of color to my face For highlight I'm using one of my favorite highlighters which is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow highlighter in the shade Crown of my Canopy which is like this really beautiful rose gold um highlighter which looks amazing on dusky complexions so I'm just using a blending brush to apply the highlighter on the tops of my cheekbones um on the bridge of my nose my cupid's bow my chin and also to highlight 
my brow bone and the inner corners of my eyes and I also added these pack individual lashes um, at the outer corners of my eyes off camera just to uh, make my lashes look a little bit more voluminized but in a natural way then I'm going to take my Color Bar Pure Winnow um, Lip Liner to line and slightly overdraw my lips and because I'm going to go in with a really nice deep dark uh, rich maroon sort of a lip color from MAC this is their Retro Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Carnivorous which is this really beautiful wine toned uh, brown um, really deep liquid lipstick so I just applied that all over my lips and it just packed a punch to this makeup look I feel and I really really like this color on my skin tone again to lock my entire makeup in place I'm gonna take my L'Oreal infallible setting spray to lock and set the rest of the makeup as well so that is the finished birthday makeup glam that I did. Very unusual for me to do this kind of a makeup look for my birthday, but I was really feeling for it uh, that day. So I went for it. It's a very intense, grungy, glam sort of a makeup look. So this is what I wore um, on my birthday and you guys will see what I wore um, as an outfit as well in the upcoming clips. So yeah, this is it.